coconut cultivation technology, coconut harvest. Coconut, the tree of life, grows well in the crossed areas of the equator. It has a unique harvesting process that's needed to follow the way of climbing and chopping coconut bunches. Those who are frightened to do this, then they can use a long stick to pluck the coconut from their bunches. Then these plucked coconuts are accumulated in the ground to be sent to the market where coconut can provide such a great economic contribution towards the prosperity of the families of farmers and themselves. If you're obsessed with watching more videos similar to these videos, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Riau is the largest coconut producing area in Indonesia, where most of the families living in this area earn their livelihood from coconut farming. They always strive to improve their coconut plantation because they're very dependent on it. The water management system is really important to maintain water availability throughout the year. This is why they built these three meter deep canals with the construction of water gates to control the groundwater and subsistence levels. Similarly, the dike is also functioning to block the seawater from entering the plantation. These canals are also used for transportation, mainly used to distribute coconut from the local smallholder farmers to the industry. Last but not least, these canals also function as a clean water source. Harvesting coconut is not an easy job to do, but many people are involved in the long process of harvesting peeling and distributing the coconut to be finally processed by the industry. It is lucky to be able to witness and experience the coconut harvesting process with thousands of coconut farmers relying their lives on coconut farming. And therefore, we should do something to help the improvement of this ecosystem. What would happen if there were no coconut farmers in Indonesia? Indonesians should keep actualizing their concern towards the coconut ecosystem, otherwise it could disappear. However, they cannot rely on the private sector alone. We have to stand together to build the coconut ecosystem through infrastructure development that takes into account all three pillars of sustainability for the long-term sustainability of the coconut farmers. Here is the story of the People's Coconut Plantation, a big step to promote the betterment of Indonesian coconut farmers. Keep watching, more interesting things are coming up ahead. Coconut Processing Machine When the coconuts are delivered to the factories, then these are escalated towards the cleaning workers, where after furnishing the coconuts, are separated with their covers and sent towards watering and the grinding segment where these coconuts are further grinded and chopped into powder. These powders are further created into cream too, and then are packed into various packaging, such as powders, cream, coconut milk drink, coconut oil, coconut cookies, and coconut sachets.
Further, these are sent into the markets. Coconut Cultivation Technology Coconuts are initially planted linearly, but farmers dig a hole that should be 40 centimeters deep and then add fertilizer below and then more porous soil by placing the seedlings and covering up the soil at the surface and then they need to be watered. We are no stranger to this kind of fruit when we go on vacation at sea, are we? Coconut fruit makes soft drinks and has many other uses like coconut oil. Let us make you learn how to grow and harvest coconuts. Fertilize coconut and add nutrients to mature coconut trees. Next would be the water supply system for the coconut forest. It will also help to transport coconuts by boats. These small ditches people planting more young coconut trees here and watering. Then comes the strangest part, which is to prepare seedlings. Coconuts don't have any seeds, of course. They grow with fruits. The head is chopped and is put in the ground, and after two months, they'll transform into trees. The preparation of seedlings is the most important, and the second way is to use plastic bags for each coconut. Bags containing spongy soil and water the coconut. Five-month-old plants are available for planting. Coconut cutting skill. Similar to other fruits, coconuts are also designed by exceptional and skilled people who sell them on the roadside. Mostly, the cutting skills in the knives or cutter, or whatever the sellers use to cut the coconuts, compel their customers to buy from them because this acts as a marketing tactic that attracts the customers. Ultimately, these coconuts are then packed and put into fancy boxes, which adds an extra feature to their product. 